Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Since his April 26th legal separation from second wife Jennifer Lopez, Ben Affleck has reportedly not been in touch with her 16-year-old fraternal twins, Emmy Muniz and Max Muniz. Jennifer went out there and told the world what a great dad he was, an insider told People on Sunday. The fact that he has not seen her kids in a long time, it's like he left. But she is especially close to his kids. The 55-year-old pop diva welcomed her coconuts during her seven-year marriage to ex-husband number three Mark Anthony, which ended in 2014. Meanwhile, Jennifer managed to attend the graduation ceremony for the 52-year-old air director actor's 12-year-old son Samuel in June, and she invited his 18-year-old daughter Violet to spend a week with her in the Hamptons in July. She's also close to Mark's four kids from his previous relationship, the source claimed. She keeps in touch with the children and she's a good mom. However, Lopez has deleted all of her PDA-filled Instagram posts dedicated to the two daughters, 19-year-old Tashi and 16-year-old Ella, of her ex-fiancé Alex Rodriguez, whom she split from in April 2021 after four years of romance. The couple formerly known as Benefer originally met on the L.A. set of Martin Brest's box office bomb Geely in 2001, abruptly split three days before their wedding in 2004 and began surreptitiously texting each other again in February 2021. Last Tuesday, the two-time Grammy nominee filed for divorce from Affleck in L.A. County Superior Court on what would have been the second anniversary of their wedding at his $8.9 million, 87-acre property on the Hampton Island Preserve in Georgia. Jennifer and Ben, who are selling their 12-bedroom Beverly Hills mansion for $68 million, did not sign a prenuptial agreement, so everything they earned during the marriage is community property, according to TMZ. When Lopez featured the two-time Oscar-winning filmmaker in her Amazon documentary The Greatest Love Story Never Told About the Making of Her Musical This Is Me. Now, a love story, many thought he did so reluctantly. Affleck was the one who had control, pretty much, a source told People on Sunday. He was very much in favor of the project, and he was a driving force for Lopez to do the movie and the album and then he insisted on the documentary, where it looked like he was hesitant and almost surprised by it, but that was a false narrative. The insider continued, he definitely took it away from the director, Jason B. Berg, so he could have the narrative he wanted out there, he not only supported that life, he encouraged it. It was almost like he's justifying it. The need for the documentary was his idea. And while the Atlas producer star and producer Matt Damon plan on attending the world premiere of Unstoppable happening September 6th at Roy Thompson Hall during the Toronto International Film Festival, the Duncan brand ambassador is skipping it, according to People. Jennifer portrays Judy Robles, the real-life mother of disabled wrestling champ Anthony Robles, in William Goldenberg's biopic hitting select theaters this December. Affleck also produced Bill Condon's upcoming remake of Kiss of the Spider-Woman starring Lopez as three different characters Lenny LaMaison, Marta, and Spider-Woman.